so um, I just wanted to show you my quick cat proofing method. Um, I put everything in jars. Uh, I used to put things in these plastic boxes with lids, and then it dawned on me that my cat figured out how to open those. So that was definitely not helpful. Um, so what I did instead is I found spaghetti jars and okay so I have this like super fancy notion it doesn't look like much but each one of these things is like $35 it's a gold plated handbag doodle that my cat loves eating and um, instead of fighting with the cat I built a notions wall of jars um, so each one of the jars, um, what I did is I got a piece of three quarter inch pine board. Whoops. Um, there is a magnet hanging off of here. So this is a three quarter inch um, width board. Um, I think this is uh, like five or six feet tall, this board. And then I painted it and then I screwed the lid of the jars onto the board and then I anchored the board to the wall. Um, it's hard to tell because some of the wall anchors are actually positioned behind the jar lids so that it looks good, but there's like 24 different anchors in this because I really don't want this falling off of my wall. Um, the jars you get are, are oddly specific. Um, before making this large one, I looked at a few different options. Uh, the ball jars didn't seem to work out well for this project. I'm not sure why, but um, the spaghetti jars with like the, the thin like lids seemed to be the best for what I was doing. Um, and they're the easiest to unscrew and screw things in and remove. Um, so when I'm done with whatever it is I'm using, I just screw it right back in here and my cat can do nothing but stare at this stuff and um, it holds pretty firmly into the wall. Um, I tend to put the stuff that I don't use as often toward the top because I need a, a ladder to reach it. The stuff that I tend to use a lot is down here below. I have a place for my iron um, which is on. I have a separate shelf for like all just all the other stuff that I need is on here. Um, and then as for thread, um, I bought these cool, like, clear um, thread and bobbin boxes from a place called Eighth Sewing Supply. Um, they're right down the street, so um, I'm pretty sure they have a website. They're about $5 a piece, um, and they're stackable, so those go on here. And then I also have this super awesome magnet. Um, just to grab magnetic stuff like pins and actually for a while I used to have a jar that I cut off the bottom of the jar just for like quick things um, and then I used the magnet to just pull it out of there instead of having to get a ladder um, but my cat has um, jumped up and grabbed that specific jar so we're no longer doing that but this is a pretty effective thing to do. Um, it's really frustrating for the cat. He showed interest in it for about a week and then he just sort of backed off and was just like, yeah, no, I'm busy. Um, so yeah, so that's like the best. Honestly, this is like, and I've tried like so many other systems. I tried getting like weird Ikea drawers. Um, I tried yelling at the cat. Um, I trained the cat, which was helpful. Do train your cat, it's extremely helpful. But I could never really get him away from opening up the plastic box. It oh, actually, here's one. Okay, well, okay, yeah. So these, these plastic boxes with the lids, not helpful. My cat figured them out. I also have the ones that have the locking lids, also not helpful because the cat figured out how to open it. Um, the jars, however, he doesn't have opposable thumbs. Um, and he can't gnaw them open and they're smooth so anytime he tries to like climb on or whatever like he can't do it um, so I'd, I'd recommend this to anyone with a cat 
Um, so this combined with like the folding workstation, um, I get a lot of storage without having to take up a lot of space. Um, and um, it's clear storage, which I think is really important, especially if you sew a lot, um, because I want to spend the time that I have to work working um, instead of looking for things. What are you doing, bro? Um, or shooing the cat. So I only need to really shoo him off the cutting table. Um, I don't have to get buttons and like thread and stuff out of him, which is gross. Um, and he, he hates it too. So we're all good. <laughs>